Today on the Canadian Arcade... Orbiting the planet at maximum velocity. Alright guys, so we're going to take a quick look at the playfield um, from both cameras, again, just so that you get a better idea while we're doing the rest of this video, what we're shooting for, what we're talking about, and uh, a little bit more about the game. So uh, we're going to start from left and go all the way around to the top, come down to the right, and uh, so first things first, we've got some drop targets here. Josh, these are the force drop targets. That's right. So different uh, letters will, will award you different things in the game. So some light mystery, some will light the escape feature. Uh, we'll, we'll sort of try to cover those as we go through the game, but uh, e each one has sort of a different ability. And depending on who you pick in the game, uh, we'll, we'll do different things with the force targets as well. So we'll, we'll try to point those things out as we come across them okay. uh, during the gameplay. Now we're using code point eight five that's right and it does not have lightsaber duel on the code yet that's yeah, not part of it yet yeah i don't think that's in the code yet um and there's also one other big feature i think the video mode is not in this game quite okay. yet so they're still working on a few things okay cool so next up on our little tour is a spinner okay uh nothing really special about that other than it's a spinner rip the spinner yeah um now we've got the left orbit We've got the left loop. So left loop, basically whenever we refer to loop, it's gonna be that little inner loop this in the game. Right so orbit is around the outside and then the loop is the inside loop. Yeah. And that goes two directions. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, left ramp goes up and back behind the back of the play field, comes back down and feeds into the left flipper. Um, there's a ball stopper right here, about halfway up. So there's some modes and settings and whatnot. It'll it'll hold the ball, so you can make some screen selections uh, depending on what you're doing. Um, Tie fighter, bit of a bash toy here with the Tie fighter. I wouldn't really call it a bash toy. Uh, basically, yeah, just a little coil that's uh, connected to that stand-up target. When that gets hit, it will fire the coil and uh, that'll wobble around. It's sort of like a bobblehead. Same yeah, idea as like uh, like the Sparky on Metallica. Yeah. And we've got the the right loop. So basically, yeah, it's just the right hand side of going into the inner loop. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, next, before we get to the the screen and everything, back in here, uh, we've got all the pop bumpers. Um, so the pop bumpers uh, are kind of isolated on this playfield compared to most games. Yeah, basically, you're really only going to get up there during like an orbit shot like a weak orbit shot. If you do in a strong, really fast orbit shot, it'll just loop right through, it won't stop up there. Mm -hmm. um, there's no way to get at it from the plunge. Uh, since the shooter lane is a little bit different on this game, it actually goes up halfway and then out to the left. Uh, so the ball, usually if you do a full plunge, will will hit in those uh, stand-up targets under the LCD screen, mm -hmm. and then usually bounces back down and hits the force targets. Cool, well speaking about the LCD screen and the, uh, the, the targets we've got below, um, so what's this for? Okay, so basically we've got the little LCD screen. That just gives you a little more information during the game on like timeouts for modes and it also kind of keeps track of your TIE Fighter count and there's a bunch of different stuff happening there. I think they've changed it a little bit with the latest code. Uh, I'm sure they'll make more use of it going forward. Uh, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they utilize that a little more. Um, and the targets below it? The targets below it. So basically uh, part of that's with your skill shot. Um, so we actually have those three red arrows. They'll go back and forth, left right. to right, uh, during the plunge. So you can time it properly. Uh, you can plunge and hit the one that's lit, and that will do your skill shot. And you can actually get a double skill shot in this game where there are the flashing targets on the force, Down here. Uh, drop yeah. targets. Those will go back and forth too, so you can actually time it and get a double skill shot. So you would the, the ball would plunge from here, would mm -hmm. eject from there, and it would hit whichever one's lit here. You right. could hit that, mm -hmm. get that skill shot, and yeah. then the ball could come back and hit whichever of these is lit as well, because this rotates, you said. Uh, yeah, so yeah they'll, okay. they'll cycle back and forth. So ball would come out, hit that, and come down and hit yeah, that. So that you a double skill, skill shot. shot, yeah. Cool. Um, now, just to the right of the targets and the screen, we have the right ramp. Now that comes back down on the right and feeds the right flipper. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, yeah. yeah. Uh, right orbit, okay. And the right orbit, you do like a soft shot on that, it'll land up in the pops usually. Come up into the pops, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Next is the mystery scoop. Okay, pretty straightforward. And uh, throughout the playfield, there's five Jedi training targets. So we got one here, two, three, four, and five. Now lighting all five of those will increase that value. That's right. Okay. And uh, two other things. Uh, first is the escape. Okay. So escape is basically a ball save feature on the right out lane. Okay. Uh, so the various things you can do in the game. Sometimes you can light escape as part of your skill shot. Uh, I think that sometimes you can actually light that uh, from hitting the drop targets. And it might also have an option where you're up in the pop bumpers. Uh, each pop bumper it hits, it sort of selects a random award. And if three of them match, then you win that award. Uh, so I think escape is actually one of those options. Okay. And the next big thing is, is kind of the, the locations on the playfield. So we've got four. Uh, we've got the Death Star uh, here in purple. We've got Endor. We've got Hoth. We've got Tantooine. And then the progress uh, for the missions uh, down in here. Yeah, and we'll try to explain that once we, uh, we get into the gameplay. Yeah, cool. But let's just take a moment to sort of appreciate the artwork that we can see here. I mean, we kind of have the game... Uh, stuck back in the row so you can't fully see it but if you watched our other video uh, when we were setting this thing up you'll get a good look at some of the artwork there it's a little better chance goes around and points out some of the little things in the artwork but i think the, <laughs> the back, blurry yeah, camera <laughs> the, the back glass is like actually really good on this I, I like the artwork on this game i think it turned out a lot better than we thought it would yeah looking at some of the early pictures of this um when it was first released uh kind of pre-released and leaked a little bit uh, to me, anyway, it looked a little bit like a Photoshop kind of throw together. Uh, but now that I've got it actually in front of me, the artwork, I mean, this is gorgeous. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, what the Hoth artwork looks like on the premium model because, I, I mean, mm -hmm. let's be honest, yeah, Empire Strikes Back is We'll the eventually best see one up close, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. But for now, we got our pro in front of us. Uh, Josh, do you want to get to some gameplay? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so we're going to play a uh, two-player game. Um, we'll get started here. So basically, uh, you can pick your uh, hero as you start the game. The different heroes have different abilities. And uh, as we cycle through them, I'll try to just go through them really quickly when we start and then uh, show you what each one of their abilities are and, and sort of what the paths are for, for each hero. Layer 2. Layer 2. All right, so we hit the left flipper button. R2-D2. Cycle through the heroes. Uh, so R2-D2, so there are the paths that are available to R2-D2. Princess Leia. Princess Leia. And Captain so, uh, so everybody's got like a little bit different path that they can follow. Luke Skywalker. Um, I personally like to sort of do R2-D2. Um, Different characters have different paths, and they also have different uh, modes that they can go through. And it actually ties in with the movie a little bit. So if a character wasn't involved in a particular part of the movie, that scene will be spotted for them already. So you'll see, like here with the, uh, the Death Star scenes, or with Endor, R2-D2 already has those scenes completed. So scene two, scene three from the Death Star uh, section are already done and scene one and two are already done for Endor, scene one from Hoth and then scene, scene three from uh, Tatooine. So uh, you can see those change as we cycle through each hero that different scenes will be spotted so you don't actually have to play those scenes. Um, so for example like we're with Han Solo right now if we choose to go after the, the Hoth uh, scenes we'll only have to play one scene before we can do Escape from Hoth multi-ball. Uh, and that's sort of how it works for, you know, like with the, the Death Star one with R2-D2, we just have to do one scene, and then we can do Destroy the Death Star multi-ball, or, or the Battle Above Endor uh, multi-ball. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, one other thing I want to point out are these shot multipliers. And you can actually see on the screen, there's a thing uh, just below where it says Ball 1, uh, the shot two times multiplier. It's either on or it's off. And that multiplier shot corresponds with these red uh, arrows that are moving around. So you use your clippers to line those up. You basically got these three shots, uh, each side of the loop and then the left ramp. And when I hit the launch button, it'll lock that in. It'll lock that multiplier in. And what that means is you'll actually get a multiplier on those shots. 
So if a shot was, say, worth 50,000 points, if you had a two-time shot multiplier, then it would be 100,000 points, that sort of thing. Uh, you could do things like light the, uh, the mystery scoop and, and have that be one of your multiplied shots. And if you get the mystery, and one of the mystery awards is like big points, a million points, it'll multiply based on whatever your shot multiplier is. And I've seen that shot multiplier go up to like 40 times. Um, so if you're, you're good at sort of moving your multiplier shots around, uh, you could get some big points on that. So I think I'm going to choose R2-D2. Of course you do. And uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to launch it here. So the other thing was the skill shot. You see just under the, uh, the on-play field LCD, you've got these arrows moving back and forth. Uh, we want to time it so that we hit the bank target in the middle. And we got it. So the things that are lit for me right now is the Death Star shot on the left loop. So if I can get that, that'll let me start the Death Star scene. So we'll see if we can do that. commentary while I'm attempting to play. Of course, between the two of us, I am the novice, uh, or the amp or the, uh, the beginner pinball player. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, let's take Han. All right, so if you're looking at Han, we see that he has Battle Above Endor. He's got two scenes completed already. Okay. So you could do the third scene. So when you launch your ball, if you shoot the left ramp, yeah. uh, you should be able to... Actually, what does it say? It says light indoor emissions. Okay. So if you choose uh, light indoor emissions, I would do that. And that'll light that shot right away. And as soon as you shoot the left ramp, you'll get to uh, choose your scene and then play that scene out. Okay. So just to clarify, looking at the screen, light indoor emissions, he's already got two of them down here. Right. I want to go for that left ramp. That's right. Okay. You'll see as soon as you launch your ball, Endor will, will light. Okay. That means you can shoot that ramp. I'm Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. So you can only pick, I think, one scene. Yeah. Right, because that's the only scene you have left. Okay. Or you can pass it, and you can actually combine that with another scene from another planet. Uh, and then you're basically playing the two modes together. Let's try this mode. Complete four green shots to unlock the door, complete four green shots to finish the mission. Okay, so those are the green shots flashing. That's right. Not a green shot. Right ramp and left loop. That's left right. loop. Try for that. Let's go this way. Okay, so right ramp. Good pass. Thank you. That's, that's something I have been practicing. Oh, I wanted to. But but I'm not sure if it'll pick up where you left off when you come back to play your ball too. Well, just just to kind of like make commentary on what I was trying to do. Did you hear you hear that thumping sound? That dwomp dwomp dwomp. Okay, that was the multiplier disappearing. That was the shot multiplier disappearing. Yeah, I figured I figured before I hit the ramp, I wanted to hit the the tie fighters down there mm -hmm. to get that uh, below the screen to get that to you know to keep going. But okay, so 
Tatooine. I think I can play a split scene now, so I can actually play one of the scenes from the Death Star path, and I can also play uh, Get to the Escape Pod at the same time. They shut down the main reactor. We'll be destroyed for sure. Okay, so we're gonna rescue the princess, and we're gonna escape. easier than some other games. Yeah. I would say it's on par with, uh, with Aerosmith. Because I can trap the ball with Aerosmith quite, you know, successfully. Oh! I think that leads to a little bit more of an enjoyable game. That's right. I like this merely just because there's so much complexity, like, say, compared to Ghostbusters. I almost feel like Ghostbusters is incomplete in a way. Sort of, yeah. I, I, I kind of get that feeling, you know? Watching this turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's see if my endor vision comes back. Pilot two, report to your ship. Uh, still flashing. So what are my options here, Josh? So escape from Boba Fett, plus five Tie Fighters, hyperspace, hurry up, uh, or plus five score. So that's for my. Um, 5% of your score. 5% yeah. of my score. Now, one of the really cool things here, um, the smaller screen on the play field, when you have that highlighted before you plunge the ball, will actually show you on the very bottom of it what that value will be. So, plus 5% of my score, and then it shows them what the value will be down on the bottom. I'll show you here. So, you see right there. Okay, or plus 5 TIE Fighters, destroy 4 to start your TIE Fighter hurry up. Okay. Um, plus five TIE Fighters, why not, why not? Okay, so I'm still in this shoot the TIE Fighter because it's a hurry up, so you can find it now. I get it. Hit the TIE Fighter. There we go. Now you can do the uh, button. You always want to make sure you turn your shot multiplier back on oh, yeah. after you've done that. That sound, you just want to shoot those targets every time. So I think it made you start your mode over. Did it? Yeah. So I'm still in that mode. So I need to do my shoot, shoot left, left orbit. orbit. I think that's probably the last thing I need to do. I think I did get the escape. Yeah, it says on the bottom of the screen, it says rescue Leia, escape pod shoot last done. purple, hurry up, mm -hmm. and escape pod, uh, shoot. I really like the LCD screen. I really like how it gives you information. Ball safe set too. This is all completely default uh, settings, correct? Pretty much. Uh, I think the. Uh... I tell you, taking your hands off that. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! Get those tie fighters. Yeah. Please step up. 
Yeah, it's a real like risk reward decision you have to make there. Well, I mean, if you can trap the ball, if you can trap the ball and hit that, then you're all set. Then just just at the right time. Or if time. you can keep the ball busy bouncing around in the pops or something, I mean, that's kind of what you want to do there. Yeah. Um, so I mean, there's, there's a lot of risk there, but it's a good opportunity for you to get your Tie Fighter count up. Okay. Uh, once you hit 35 Tie Fighters, it'll give you the Tie Fighter multi ball. Okay. Um, and I've got place charges left. I've got two charges. It says here. Knockout shield generator. Right, right. Let's do the right round. Try. And then do the left loop. The best shooting the left loop to the left flip or the right You flipper. can do it. You can do it. The right hand on it's a little tight. Oh, oh, come on. I wrecked this. Yeah, a little bit. I love the callouts in this game. So we're still learning the game a little bit, so we're not going to have like a billion points. <laughs> Remember, very often, the force will not be like in the Stern video. Force. I think they might have changed the code a little bit yeah. with that too. So. I think I got, we, we were over at our buddy's place, uh, our buddy Scott's place, after we finished setting this one up. And I think I put up a billion. Yeah, I put up 1.2 or 1.3 billion on this one. Yeah. The Rebel Bay Since I've updated the code. I think right. mine was more of a fluke, you know what you were doing. <laughs> Alright, we'll do another game. Lego 2! Can I go first this time, Chad? Ah, no, you. Alright, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try to play as uh, Luke this time around. Try to do the Endor stuff. Princess Leia. Light Endor missions. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, Alright. So again I can pick from one one scene. So you basically eight oh, shots to finish this. That mystery shot. I, I, one of the things I do like about this game, as I was trying to say, is that there's a real sense of progression, there's a real sense of story that you're going somewhere with the game. Right. It's not just flailing the ball wildly and trying to hit things. You actually, the, the direction you're taking as the player is, is actually quite good. I'm gonna try the, the scoop because it's a much better shot for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough shot. You gotta almost like get like half on and off the flipper. It's a really wide shot. Yeah. 
Maybe not, not like. Please <laughs> step up. Please step up. Alright. This game feels like it's a little bit harder the second game around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it almost knows like it, like the game knows we know what we're doing. I think sometimes just blindly playing the game and not knowing the rules and just focusing on not draining yeah. uh, sometimes helps you get a high score too. I find like there'll be games I have no clue how to play and I go up and I rock it the first time because I'm just focusing on not draining. This thing I'm so focused on, okay, I gotta do this now, I gotta do that, and, and it distracts you from <laughs> not draining, you know? Shoot the Death Star loop. Yeah. Oh, hey, so I'm, I'm, I'm holding, held the ball so long that our instant info's come up, so might as well just quickly yeah, talk yeah, yeah. about this. Um, so holding down one of the flippers will give you the instant info menu. Um, so you can go forward and back, so uh, forward with one of the flipper buttons and back with the center button which is a really nice addition, Stern. Thank you very much. Um, so, to light extra ball, destroy, destroy 88 more TIE Fighters, complete five more missions. Uh, Luke is strong with the Force, increase score in lightsaber duel. Leia Yeah, basically, because each of your players yeah. what they're good at, what they're bad at. Uh, hero missions, so the progress of the missions. Okay. Uh, choosing your path. So it shows all the possible things that those players can have. Yeah. Uh, victory medals. Uh, so different missions, you'll get awarded a medal based on your score. So I think it's like bronze, silver, gold. Think of like uh, Angry Birds. You know, if you finish a level with one bird, then you get like three stars or whatever. Okay. I think it sort of works like that. It's just based on how much score you get in that mode or whatever, and it'll give you the medal. Is that, the, that in the background there? Is that the Jedi holocron? Mm -hmm. I think so. These Star Wars nuts, let us know down in the comment section if, if that's what it's supposed to be. I very I have a limited understanding of the expanded universe, but uh, Path to Jedi Multiball. Josh? It, it actually shows you like destroyed two of ten. It shows you how close you are to some of those, right? Okay. So like in, in the case of Endor with the TIE Fighters? Two of one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, player two is up. Now this is cool. Action button key. So this is a little key menu to say uh, when, it, when it's oh, so when it's when it's yellow, shoot shot multiplier on or off. Yeah. Uh, and when it's and orange, it's, yeah, you when hold it to add a ball. Okay, so that's good to know. Yeah. So right now it's yellow. Right now it's yellow. And green is start game. Blue is choose a character. White is launch ball. Okay, that's fair enough. So if you ever see this orange, this button down here, orange, hold it and you'll add a ball. Yes. During your yeah. multi ball. Multi ball. And then all the uh, targeting computer. So that's, I think, the stuff you can get out of the pop bumpers. Okay. So when the pop bumpers are going, it's just randomizing between each of those shots, uh, or each of these awards, and then when it matches three up, then it'll give you that award. And then four targets. Jedi training. Quite a bit of stuff in the info, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spinner level one. Total bonus, replay. Okay, Josh so is the grand champion. Yeah, and now all the stars. Okay. Alright, let's go back to playing. Which <laughs> energy you ain't cold though. It got real cold. <laughs> Combine just. Alright. Well at least we got something all all beneficial out of that part of the video though. Here's your ball back, Captain Solo. Here's your ball back. I'll just keep shooting that ramp all day. Okay, so I think I unlocked the room, now I need to... Throw me another charge. 
Oh, that went right down the middle. Two. Oh, two. There is no try. Player two, please step up. All right. I am immensely impressed with the amount of sound effects and mm -hmm. music. And yeah, they've used a lot of the assets very well in this yeah. game. I think that. Really well. well, I think Ghostbusters, personally, is a huge Ghostbusters fan. I was, I was kind of let down in the end of the music alone, but the sound effects were amazing. Here, both. Music, mm -hmm. sound effects, both really solid. Uh, let me light end or missions. Sure. Why not? Use the plunger this time. Nope. Shoot that left around. You may have your ball back, your highness. Thank you. Good luck, your shot multiplier in. Okay, so you just qualified hop. Okay. So you can play the hop scene if you shoot the right loop. Back out. Too hard. So what do I want here? Uh, you can actually play a combination of let's two. Maybe just focus on one. One, yeah. yeah. It's like so much to focus on, right? Are they all like that now? Is that a bug? Well, no, I'm just going through all of them, right? Oh, there so you go. there's so many oh, possible combinations. combinations. Oh, because you did a bunch of things. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's nice. It has a little timer counting down, forcing you to go through it, but the timer. Oh, really? Really? I was gonna say that. Timer doesn't tick down when you're going through the selection. Jeez, come on. That was a poor game, but at least we got to take a look at the instant yeah. info. Yeah, that's... All right. So we're going to start game three. On three. Princess Leia. Oh, wits bounty hunters. <laughs> what do the other ones say? Go to the, so Luke, bottom left hand corner of the, of the display screen there. Luke, uh, strong with the force. r 2 is clever with multipliers. And uh, Leia is strong in missions. Captain Sala. Alright. I'm Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Colorful GI on it too, eh? Yeah, it's got actually three color GI. So we got red, we've got blue, and we've got white. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Stressful? When the ball is like floaty like that? Yeah. Okay. I want to finish this. Uh, oh, come on. Okay. So left loop. Hard to take your hand off that and be ready to save your ball. Okay, we have uh, what do you have left for this mission? I gotta get uh, what does this say? Uh, knockout shield generator, unlock bunker. How many do you have flashing? You should have the uh, right, right around. Right. Yeah. Easier done than said. Okay, bunker ward collected. For only another charge. Okay, so now you're gonna place the charges. Next, it's eight shots, right? I'm gonna drain here on you hit. Right round. Right, I got it. Okay, so now it's battle above Endor. Okay. So that's a multi bomb. Okay, so we've lit all three of those missions because you started yep. with two as Han. So now we're finished the third one, and now you're doing battle above. This is a multi ball, like a mini wizard ball. Oh, 
And what's the objective here? Uh, just shoot the light and lift the bus, I guess. The green shot. Okay, so your total is 7 million for that. Time for the hurry up. So close. So you're aiming for that TIE Fighter right now. Yeah, I'm trying to hit that. If I can finish this one, then I can do the uh, Escape from Hawk. I'll be long. Oh god. It's so like... Ugh. It's so stress inducing trying to take your hand off the game. Yeah, it is. If only there was another way to hit that button while playing. Bash your head on it. Just... <laughs> okay. Was a bad first ball. R2 D2. Might as well. Let's try R2. Uh, three time shot multiplier. Oh, I missed it. Okay, uh, left ramp, or left orbit, right ramp. Or that. R2, your ball has been saved. Loop, I mean, that really just whips it back. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I always feel like when that's coming back down the middle. Yeah. There is no try. Player one. So far, so good, though. Yeah. I mean, you're beating me by 200. 33 million points, but... <laughs> they can all change in one ball. Oh, oh yeah. TIE FIGHTER MULTI-BALL! There we go. TIE FIGHTER MULTI-BALL. What are we trying for here? Uh, shoot the red shot. You notice you have multiple ways of saying jackpot? So it doesn't get uh, boring. Yeah, yeah. Again, that, that's an improvement on Ghostbusters. Oh, jackpot has a couple of ways of saying it. Uh, Ghostbusters has a couple of different ways of saying the jackpot. I always only hear one, or always remember just one. Jackpot. Oh, you bastard! Hot shot is kind of dicey. Dicey. Gotta hit a slow shot. There's a fleet of star destroyers coming out of hyperspace in sector four. Escape from hot. So I guess that's the blue shot. Yeah. Up under the ramp. That was a weird air ball. Oh my god. You add a ball, it's flashing orange. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. Alright. You almost have to play this slightly lower depending on where your field of vision is. Mm -hmm. So you can see the different colors that that lower button creates, right? Oh! Use the force. Okay, so I've basically completed those two. Yeah. Endor and Hawk. 
Pilot 2, report to your ship. And I've barely started any of them. I think that's uh, we'll the ride on this one. I think, I think chance you should just play to not the rain. This time, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do that. And when you do get control, then stop and see what you need to focus on. Because I mean, the first couple times I played this game too, I got like a billion points and I had no idea how. It was just not draining, you know? So you the mystery scoop? <laughs> That's done. Your points got like way up. You're like 250 million. Now. You told me to play to not drain. There you go. I think it's that biggest points. I'm back. Okay, so indoor is lit. Oh! Do you see that? Yeah, it gets that weird bounce sometimes. Oh, man. Well, at least I'm on my way back out. Destroy 76 to start TIE Fighter. Hurry up. How many do we have now? At 69. <laughs> Now, if you guys see something here that we've missed or we're not talking about, uh, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, we want to know a little bit more uh, what you think of the game, what you think of the art package, the sounds, anything. Uh, we'd love to uh, have a conversation with you guys down below. There you go. Replay. Tie Fighter, hurry up. Come on, come on. Oh, that was going right down the outline. I felt that one. You must. I would have got a lot of points if I hit that tie Yeah. Fighter. Player 2 is up. Okay. I have a chance. There is a chance. Uh, not intended. Do 5% of your score. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that'll be what, 15 million? Yeah. Yeah, according to the screen down there. There we go. Okay, well, let's do them both. Might as well. Might get lucky. Knock me out. Oh, come on! I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. Yes, you are. Are you a little short to be a stormtrooper? Yeah. That, that, yeah, thumping sound is very ominous. Yeah, you're kidding me. Look at your score. Oh, because you had a combined scene? Uh, the two of them, yeah. yeah. So it was a good call to do both. Your wife's not going to get mad at me that I'm putting my name up on your game. Oh, she's got a name. High score three. You can put in your whole name if you want. Do you know that Chance has a sister named Community Chess? <laughs> no. Do you have a brother, though? I hope his name is not Community Chest. <laughs> it's not bad. 781 million? Not bad at all. Oh, I get to put my name in. What did I get my name in for? Excellent. Tie Fighter Champion. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I got like 70 some odd Tie Fighters. Well, that's obviously the highest that I've gotten since I put the new code on it. Alright. Boss champion. Oh, he gave me that too. 
Hand champion. Hand on. Tomato, tomato. Told you. This is potato, potato. Nobody says potato. Potato is not a. Remember. I was incorrect. <laughs> For those of you who watched our unboxing video, I made a comment that nobody says tomato, but apparently the British do. And I got called out by that from some of my British friends. <laughs> Alright. But potato. We know nobody says potato. Sorry, I'm standing We're gonna guy. find a video now of someone saying potato. Yeah. Find, find somebody legitimately saying potato in a pre-existing video, and I'll shut my mouth on that topic. Jeez, there you go. Hyperspace, hurry up. <laughs> Push and mine. <laughs> go, 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 go. So what are you trying for here, Josh? I'm trying to hit those uh, the shots that are white. Yeah. I'm not really sure why, but... I don't know, but let's find out. One. <laughs> Okay, Endor. Speeder bikes, throne room duel. What is this? You take both ramps the first timer and kick his ass. Don't know the power of the dark side. Josh is trying this new thing where he tries not to swear. <laughs> He's leaving it up to me. R2 D2. Yeah. Let's light the Death Star missions. Okay. Yeah, backhanding that left. You can backhand it, but it's a really, it's really tough. Shot. I should just pass the ball over here. Oh. No! Oh. You gotta get good at pinball before you can be the fancy tricks, folks. Well, all those off. <laughs> Everything fancy I learned, I learned from Dead Flip. Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> the ball, the flipper, just... Alright. Now, just keep from draining. Let's see how... Okay. Shoot. Oh yeah, we're still in the throne room. Cool. Gonna get your multiplier save there. Right? Yeah. You're at 20 percent, 20 multiplier. It'd be a shame if you lost that. I like.
like how you can increase the value of that spinner by hitting those targets. It's a nice little, you know, accomplishment that you have to sort of go for. There's a strategy in there. What am I gonna do now? You force targets. Oh! So it said parry successful. Yeah. So you shoot the ramps again, so shoot the right ramp. There you go. Wow, that was good. You underestimate the power of the dark side. Feel your anger. Yeah. Oh, because you gotta uh, do it three times. Because look, see, it's got three little bars and shooting around. Yeah. So on the bottom of the, the bottom of the the uh, screen there, you, don't know the you got two of them. This is three. So the dual award is being collected. How's your stress level now, Josh? So shoot the ramps. One. Shoot the right ramp. Nice. Whew, that was weird. Throne room total duel, 23 million. Oh, it's hard. I think you can hit everything in a certain amount of time. Or it resets it all. Oh, I should have given it a little shake. There is no try. There's something about this that's just like so much more addictive than any of the other games I have. Yeah, it, maybe it's the progression. I think it's just the chasing modes. through the modes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like. Uh, I, if I decide that's just too tough, I can just go do something else. Yeah. But, you know, with Ghostbusters, it's more linear and you have to go through, you know, you get three paths, but it, it's like a ladder, you have to go through each one. Yeah. Um, it'd be nice if you could pick your scene in Ghostbusters. Uh, I'm not going to do the Tantooine ones again just now. Let's do plus three times multi shot multiplier. Okay, mystery is lit. If I can hit it. There we go. Did this last time we got ahead of you. You get the bigger points. I don't know how much that actually gives you. Plus two multiplier, start double multiplier. So the bigger points gave you 30 million. That's not bad. But if you had like the multiplier on that. I'm gonna do this again, I'm gonna do both. Just cause I'm gonna flail wildly and I'm gonna try and get a few shots. I need to go to walk around here to rescue you. They don't call me Chance for now. Did I just make a pun of my own name? Oh! Oh, you're a that would have been nice though. <laughs> have it come back up the uh, lane. Player one, All right. please step up. I got a long way to go on this one. How many TIE I've got 75 TIE fighters now. How many more do I need to get multi ball? Risk versus reward, yes. Josh. Player two is up. 
I thought it was gonna do something at a hundred. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. So you gotta rescue Leia, shoot three purple shots. What is 5% of my score? 6 million points? Nah, it's not worth it. You're almost at a billion. Um. Super did a bonus multiplier, or yeah. how, how, how many? You only have like two TIE Fighters, so. Yeah, so three times bonus multipliers, just in case. You know, maybe I'll get lucky on the end there. Bonus multipliers plus five times. Okay, so what am I going for here? Let's go right ramp. It's nice to get good enough at pinball that sometimes I can call my own shot. Yeah, I don't feel like a complete and total tool. I'm still really, really. That's actually, how they save pinball? What? Back when they, when it was uh, prohibited. Oh, because he was gonna say like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Roger Sharp, and he went in front of a judge or whatever, and said they had a pinball machine set up, and they basically said, "I'm gonna call my shots." And he made his shots. Ah. Oh. Sort of help them uh, decide that it was a game of skill rather than a game of chance. Yeah. Nobody wants a game of chance. Player one. It must be my TIE fighter thing. Oh, I don't know, you have to score. High score four. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but the original ship's code, the .83, when we were putting in names, instead of the word N, it just had a blank space. Uh, did it? Yeah, I think it did have a blank space. It doesn't matter now, it says N, so who yeah. cares? One thing, I like that they didn't mess around with the font on the... Yeah. I mean, I think with, like, Remember, Smith, it was just the, the style of font that he used for the game, and it's sort of like... One of, the, one of the themes of this video so far, if you guys haven't noticed, is that we keep comparing, comparing this to every other recent Stern. And I think that's because... This, in my opinion, I don't know about you, Josh, but this is the best Stern that's come out in a very long time. I think so, like, rule-wise, I think it, like, it's a little barren in terms of features, and I think everyone sort of agreed that there's not much going on in the playfield. I feel like they could have stuck, like, uh, you know, a little model TIE Fighter or, like, X-Wing or whatever, or somewhere mm -hmm. on the game. Toys and whatnot. Toys and stuff. I know that the Premium LE has, like, the Millennium Falcon up here. That's really the only extra thing, and then it has... The hyperloop that um, spins the ball, hyperdrive or whatever they call it. Uh, it's like a ramp that comes and loops around and goes back into the Death Star. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of like the big feature. I don't, you know, I don't even really know if it's worth the money. Well, I mean, there's always going to be guys that want to spend the money and get the LE and the premium. And yeah. If you're able to do that, then I think you know that's good. Get the game that you want to get. But uh, you know, if if you're thinking like you don't want to stretch and pay for the the, the more expensive game, I think you're going to be really happy with this one too. I, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I think I'm having more fun with this than I have with Ghostbusters or with Metallica. Metallica is actually one oh. of my favorite games of like all time. Uh, and, and I haven't even touched it here in the last week since we got this one. So, um, you know, and it's not just the honeymoon phase. I just feel like the modes are, are a little deeper and it's a little more complex than uh, than the Metallica right now. Cool. And I mean, maybe when the honeymoon wears off, then you know, I'll, I'll change. <laughs> but uh, I, I really like it. I'm really excited about it. I don't feel like any sort of buyer's remorse at all. I'm really enjoying it now. Uh, the first couple days when I had it, I was kind of like, oh, I don't don't know yet. But now that I've kind of figured out with the shot multipliers and, and how some of the stuff works. Uh, you know, I'm a little happier with it, so. It really makes you want to go back and watch yeah. the original trilogy again, I think again, so, yeah, too. Yeah. I felt like I wanted to go back and watch Star Wars the other night, you know. <laughs> Just for the hell of it, right? Your track modes on this are loud. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we'll do uh, a couple more games, and then uh, we'll probably wrap it up, so. Put the busier motion back again. <laughs> Player two. Player two. So I was on YouTube today, and I learned what happened to the, uh, the, kid, that, the kid that played Anakin Skywalker is on drugs now. He's on drugs now. No, he's, uh, what's his name? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, in episode one. In the first one, he was just a little boy. Yeah, apparently afterwards he got bullied in school because he was in Star Wars. Why would you bully a kid who was in Star Wars? Well, Star standing by. 
Maybe it was because of his affiliation with Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, maybe. I would have bullied him for that. I would have bullied Jar Jar Binks for that. Death Star. Oh. Death Star. Huh? I can hit that ramp. Real good. <laughs> At this point, it's his muscle memory. <laughs> Um, sure. The autistic part of you takes over and just gets to the ramp. Certainly has courage. Most ramp shots in succession? Metallica. Like 20. I did like 30 on Ghostbusters. I did like 30 left ramps on Ghostbusters last night, but I wasn't in uh, Super Luca. That's too bad. But it did catch up with your value. It was like a Get that last one. No. Quick, jam their comm like sandwich. Is that weird? It gave me clips. Oh. It gave Jared. clips from both scenes. Jared. I think we took a long, wrong turn Jared. and jam their comm like. like one. one thing that I noticed that bugs me a little bit is these uh, lamps. Yeah. They're kind of in the way of that that left orbit shot. Like you can't see what what's flashing there. Yeah, like yeah. in my height anyway, I don't know if I was get six some, inches taller, I'd be a little bit Would you stilts. like a stool? I can get you a stool. I get some stilts. Could you play standing on a stool? I feel weird, I'd be like I feel like I normally do. <laughs> like I had like a foot on you. Wow, that was that was a, hole. That was a house ball. <laughs> For those who <laughs> a house ball drop. House ball. Basically For those that you don't know that. Don't get to flip at it. Yeah. We're not just funny, we're education. Oh you son of wow. a biscuit. Oh, do not. I was hesitating hitting the button to get the high fighters because I thought there was still a chance I could save that. You're gonna have some bad games from time to time. Oh yeah. How many Tie Fighters do I have? No. Sure, why not? Those are in the way of that orbit. I still got it though. Yeah, pop that ramp. Oh! Come back. Okay. So left, left ramp, and end door. Oof. Oh, there you go. Dead star. I, I, combine mode. I really like the combined modes. Yeah, it seems like you get a good chance to wreck some score up there. I think that's the advantage of passing, like, later on. Yeah. Hold the battle, man. Have that tractor beam out of commissioner. This is going to be a real short trip. Okay, hit it! I'm the destiny of the power of the dark side. Do you want Up. Man, I'm on ball three already. It was it was something going through my head that the next time those TIE Fighters came up, I was gonna like try and like hot foot it between the buttons and it just did I, You actually switched hands. I know, I saw that. <laughs> that was again. Well, we 
one of the interesting things that I, this game has no magnet, right? Right. So you can use those silver jet balls. You can, you know, you don't have to worry about a magnet sticking through a playfield. Not this anything wrong. With Oh, nice save. Oh, I got a danger on that. I got my tilt tightened up pretty good on this thing. I don't like people throwing my games around. That's the most quiet bumper action I've seen all day. Oh, nice. Hot shot. Uh, okay. Rescue Luka Wars collected. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> we can make him swear. <laughs> Tells me when she hears me screaming at the pinball machines in the basement, she knows shit. I'm uh, getting to a mode that I want to beat. You're really getting into it. Okay, so I've got fight the Tie Fighter, shoot the purple shots, or throne room, uh, shoot the ramps. Those are my two that I have going. Uh, yeah, if five times my score, why not? Percent, yeah. Ten million is not bad. Choke. Their sparks are very close. Yeah, I know, that's why I... You don't know the power of the dark side. With these passing moments, you make yourself more my servant. Yeah, I'm working on it. I get a little control here. Oh, no! I saw that one. I, the first couple of games we played on this last week, I kept wanting to hit that button yeah, to cash out the Iron Bank That's from what Game I always Thrones. do on Game of Thrones, hit that button. <laughs> like, sometimes you get a bonus. Sometimes on like ACDC too, you can hit that and yeah. get like a little bonus before your ball like totally drains. Remember. All right. The force what do we get here? I think almost. we're uh, almost an hour in. Uh, we'll probably have time for one more game, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. Unless this game totally sucks, then we'll play another one. And this is not the end. You know, we can come back and play this once we uh, we get a lot better at it. You know, once I've gotten comfortable enough with it that. I can work through the modes. Maybe we'll come back and we'll do sort of like a super uh, skills yeah, episode. Super skill. Yeah, we'll we'll put out all the strategies. Well, plus for you. code. The, the next code will come out. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, we get to code 1.0. We might revisit this again. Yeah, if you, again, if you guys want to see anything more of this game, if there's something you think that we've missed, um, and there's enough of that out there, you guys have enough suggestions out there. We're gonna come back and we'll do another episode for sure. Absolutely. This game deserves it. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of code updates here. Oh this yeah. This is a big game, so. I think it's the big reason why there haven't been any Ghostbusters updates for a while. Because, Sound uh, a little bitter there. D D Dwight Sullivan has been working on this game. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's been eating all of his time. So maybe when this thing gets stabilized and uh, you know it's in everybody's hands and there's not a lot of bugs coming in, maybe the focus will go back over to Ghostbusters and maybe they'll get a little update there. Yeah, Dwight, we feel for you, man. If there's anything we can do to help, just yep. let us know. If you want us to uh, <laughs> beta test your, uh, your code, let us know. Anyway, <laughs> two. All right. R2 D2. You need to get a little more sweet sleep at night, Dwight. Just so I'm used to the lot. We're here to help. <laughs> we know some of the guys at Stern watch us now, so <laughs> it's a weird feeling. You don't want to say something you'll get hate for. Okay, fair from anybody really. Look at that spinner. Oh! 
not have done that. So what are the things that we really haven't touched on? We've done a lot of Death Star missions, we've done a lot of Battle of Endor. Some Hoth, no Tatooine. Yeah, I did do the Hoth multi-ball, I did the, uh, yeah. the Death Star. No, did I do the Endor? Uh, I did Endor, yeah, I think Endor I did Hoth. Hoth. I don't we, think I we didn't finish Death Star? I don't think so. We definitely haven't done much Tatooine. No, we haven't. Okay, so uh, on that side. That is a hard shot to get. That's that wide right shot. So well, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. I mean, you can qualify that any time. Like, if you're good at that shot, like, if you light it now, then all you need is one shot to, then you, to yeah. start it. But if you don't light it now, if you make that shot a couple times during the game, good luck then, you, then it will light that and then you can start. It's easier, easier to start it. Yeah. Get a little control going, and then let's try it for it. I'm not going to do it from the right flipper, though. Oh! Oh! Right, Okay. L really low on the flipper, you think? That Jedi training target on the far right is really tough, too. Nope. 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 Oh, I should have let that dead flip over. Please don't try. Player one, please step up. Let's try the tent. Let's go for the tent. Let's see what you can do. Oh, it's been in by itself. I haven't even flipped at it yet. There I got it. Give me the biggest points. Bigger points. I think it's like 30 million. Start double multipliers. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Escape pod. Rescue the princess. Do escape pod. Oh wait, those are the. Yeah. yeah the yeah. orange ones are the. Uh, Tatooine. Yeah. And I've got Death Star already started too. So. Oh, right to they shut down the main reactor. We'll be destroyed for sure. Certainly has courage. Good will do us if he gets himself killed. <laughs> this is madness. We're doing it. There'll be no escape for the princess this time. Bouncing around like that. I think we took a wrong turn. Oh, good God. Oh, Jesus. Got one more four star you see if you want to. I'm just trying to get control. Okay. Oh, you! Oh, wow! I think the moment it goes over that switch, it says yeah, nope, no more, right? Just... Even you can smash it as much as you want, but I think the moment it takes that switch, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah no, I'm done. Uh, light escape. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. What a save. Again. Nope. Oh, <laughs> saved. Come back. Give me the ball. No. 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 Come on. <laughs> Stupid TIE Fighter, let's go! I cannot get control right now to save my life. Or shoot a TIE Fighter down, apparently. Wow. Wow. Escape from Mos Eisley? We haven't done that yet, have no, we? we no? Let's that. do that. I played that one before, but we haven't played that one. Use ramps to build value before the time runs up. Like value on the... Okay, let me get rid of this TIE Fighter first. Yeah. There we go. Finally. 
My arcade skills are paying off. It's like playing uh, Joust. Yeah, it's exactly like playing Joust. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Going down the <laughs> okay. Left ramp. Left ramp. Gotta wipe the sweat off my hands. No. <laughs> There's a little speck of dust in it. Come on! Do not. Do Scoop is flashing! Play a one, there's off. Play a one. So where did they get the voice for that guy? Uh, I don't know. I think they talked about it in the... Uh, the Dead, Dead Flip video, yeah. But I didn't hear what they were saying on that one. <laughs> All week after that video came out, John was like, have you watched this video yet? Have you watched the video yet? And I just... I, life got in the way and I had... But I finally watched it and I didn't get anything done for that three hours. <laughs> Have the ball back. I get a lot of flack for saying this, but I like this a lot better than the daddy games of Star Wars. And that's one of my favorite games. You're gonna wake up to a bunch of people now. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Watch our uh, subscriber base just go skyrocket to the ground. Love it. It's tough when you really need to hit it. You need to get bomb control, right? Yeah, there you go. There, we got it. Multi-bomb. Alright, now play not the brain. Jackpot! <laughs> didn't even launch the balls yet, you're gonna get a jackpot. All three, just gone. We had we had it on the whole time. Uh, wow. That was short-lived. That was very short-lived. I'm going to replay this. Do a multi, do a combined. Yeah, there you go. Java! Free us! Or die! die. I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. Young Luke, older Luke. Oh, there you go. 
So that's it for the gameplay portion of this video. Josh, thoughts? What do you like? What do you not like? Is there anything you didn't like? Well, so far, I mean, I've had the game for four or five days. Uh, I'm still sort of in the honeymoon phase, so everything is great right now. Uh, I, I guess initially, you know, like, I, I'm still sort of with my original thoughts of there not being a lot of things on the play field. Um, so maybe, like, one or two extra toys. Maybe there could be something mounted over here, a little, like, X-Wing or something like that. Maybe a little Yoda figurine, I have no idea. I mean, I just feel like there was room for something else on there. I mean, these toys, I mean, if they source them properly, I'm sure that that's not going to add a lot of cost. Mm, you got um, Disney at back in the end, yeah, you know, so you can so get some pretty good deals there. You can get some stuff going that way. Uh, so what, I feel what like, did you like? I mean, I, I really like the code in this game. I, I really, really do. I mean, I think there's a lot of uh, potential for the game to expand even more. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's not even programmed into the thing so far. Like I think this whole lightsaber duel, uh, the video mode, the video modes. Like I don't think those are 100 percent there. Yeah. Quite yet. Um, there may be some other modes that that aren't quite finished yet. So I, I know like this is still early code. It's 0.85. Uh, so there's a lot of potential for things to be fixed and improved and added. And I mean even with Ghostbusters, if you remember back originally with that one, it only had one video mode, and now it has two video modes. It mm -hmm. had the the ESP uh, card thing where you have to guess the card, and then it also has the don't cross the stream. So we don't even have a video mode in this yet. Some people kind of consider the whole TIE Fighter thing where you're, you're hitting the mode. button, it's sort uh, of a video mode, but... I wouldn't um, say so, but... But there's that. So, I mean, in terms of the code, I just love the code. I just love that there's some different paths you can take to play the game. Uh, you know, you can pick one of your four heroes, and then within that, there are things you can do. Uh, I, I just I like that because sometimes I'm in the mood for a certain type of game, maybe a certain pace, uh, or, certain or chasing after missions. certain goals and yeah. stuff, you know, versus say like with Ghostbusters, 
in particular where everything is very linear you can sort of chase you know a couple different modes but I mean you're making those decisions as, you, as you've already plunged the first ball uh, you know depending on which you know you, sh you shoot the left wrap first or you shoot the right orbit uh, that sort of starts you off on that particular particular ladder um, so that's more linear whereas this is sort of more open you're not forced to go through through things in a certain way uh, you know when you pick your scenes you can pick any one of them you know scene one two or three uh, you know before you get to that little mini wizard mode so yeah. uh, I, th I think there's a lot of potential there I really like the uh, the shot multipliers I think if you're really wise about how you use those shot multipliers uh, <laughs> as we saw you know that you're you're lining them up to coincide with the modes that you're playing in so maybe you see that you have the mystery shot lit uh, maybe you want to turn on your shot multiplier for that and then shoot that mystery shot and see if you get like the biggest points thing which I think normally is like 30 million points or something mm -hmm. and if you had like a 20 times multiplier on that you would have like this massive massive uh, reward for that yeah. um, you know some of these shots like you know when you're in a mode uh, and, and you take a shot and you get you know a million points for that shot if it's multiplied you know you, you want to stay on top of that make sure your multiplier is set to the right sort of shot and it is actually turned on you don't have it turned off yeah always have that little you see up there on the screen a little mm -hmm. tether green or red showing your yeah. multiplier so yeah so that's one thing I, I really like the the extra overhead of having to remember about that and managing that so for me, it just makes the game more complex. I think it'll be a little bit longer before I get bored of it, uh, you know, and have to move on to another game. And I never really get bored of any particular game. I may overplay a game and, and feel like I need to move on to something else. You know, maybe some days I'll, I'll play Ghostbusters a bunch, and then I get tired of that, and I don't play it again for a week, and I'll just play Metallica for the rest of the week. Uh, you, know, this, you know, this might get to that point where I, you know, have to take a break from it and come back and revisit it, but... I mean, again, like I said, I'm in the honeymoon phase right now, uh, so this is really the only thing I've been playing here the last, you know, since Thursday. It's now Monday, so, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, what did you think? I mean, your sort of first exposure, long-term exposure to it, you played it a little bit when we first brought it in, but tonight was the first time you really got to sink into the mode. This happens a lot. Yeah. Um, you don't know how many takes of this we've done. No, I... As as the as the beginner pinball player uh, out of the two of us, um, I, I like that you, there there's there's enough information on the game uh, as far as the gameplay goes to know what you have to do. That's right. You know. Is it a star? In this I case. hit Ghostbusters. Um, so there's you know you, you need to do the Hoth missions or the Death Star missions or the or you, you you can see on the play field. It's kind of like Buck Hunter in a way that I, uh, I, I, I knew what I was doing, mm -hmm. right? So that was really nice. And, and that's, it's a little bit better than some of the crazy melee that you have walking mm -hmm. into other games where it's like, okay, what do I shoot next? Yeah. Or, like, I know you always say shoot the flashing lights, and, and that's all well and good for a guy learning, but this game actually makes me feel... It's telling uh, you on the screen, shoot, yeah. shoot the purple shots. And, and, you know, and two, there's two feel, left. It makes me feel like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of being helped at learning the game. Yeah. I'm not afraid of it, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things I like. The other thing I really like is the artwork package. Now I know when the, uh, I've said this before, when the game's pictures first started leaking online, I, I criticized that a lot. I thought it looked like someone had taken Photoshop and as many screen captures of the movies as possible mm -hmm. and thrown those all in and made a few montages. But when you actually look at this, and we talked about this in the unboxing video that we did, which we'll leave a link to at the end of this video, um, the artwork on this is phenomenal up close. Like, you can see it looks like they've, they've hand-drawn, you know, a lot yeah. of the best scenes. Maybe they traced over some scenes and or whatever. I think it might have been yeah. a Photoshop thing, but it still looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. The artwork's in the right places. Uh, the play field doesn't seem too generic when you look down at it, in my eyes anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that I like, and I love the music and call-outs. Yeah. I feel that was the biggest problem that I personally had with Ghostbusters, being such a big Ghostbusters fan was 
I, you know, you didn't have that same soundtrack from the first no, and second no, movie, was, right? It was very much inspired by the movie, but it wasn't it the wasn't actual the, movie. It wasn't the actual choice, movie, yeah. yeah. I'm sure and, that was a licensing thing or something. Oh, maybe. Yeah. But this was just, this mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Yeah. You know, you get into it and it's fun. It's exciting. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to what the code brings in the future. I'm really looking forward to learning more about this game and how to play it because I actually, again, feel like I can learn it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's the first game in a while for me that I feel like it's it's got a lot going on. Maybe Game of Thrones, I feel like that is sort of the same place that this is. Uh, I'd like them to revisit Game of Thrones with the LCD, too. I think that would... Yeah, if that ever happened, I mean, I, yeah. I don't know. I, mean, I don't like, think it will, you know, It's too bad that, that Ghostbusters could have been one of the first LCD games, you know, potentially, and, and yeah. that didn't happen. I mean, this was actually, you know, Ghostbusters was the last... Uh, DMD the last DMD game, yeah. Game of the era, so yeah. I mean, and, and this whole video, we've been comparing Star Wars to Ghostbusters, Metallica, Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. and, and Aerosmith because, again, I personally feel that those this are some is of the, the most recent games. Yeah, that, yeah. But uh, of the most recent games, this mm -hmm. one, hands down, in my books, I mean, it's not a hundred percent. It's like say ninety eight, ninety nine, because right. you're missing some things on the play field. I mean, there's there's a couple of uh, screws up here on the ramp that just don't do anything. Yeah, so maybe that's something like for the future. Some sort of add-on or accessory or something that's going to go there. But my point being that this is, I think, personally speaking, for me anyway, the best game they've had in the last few years. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah, I think so too. It's all it's the so whole too. package, right? Yeah. And I think like anyone who's been shrugging the game off because of the barren play field, or barren looking. I mean, there's, yeah, still a lot of, there's still a lot going on. There's lots of little targets. It's still stuff. fun, though. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's I mean, it's there's barren. so many little uh, stand-up targets everywhere that, you know, that's that's adding things like your Jedi training and stuff. Well, it doesn't it doesn't feel like, like Bram Stoker's Dracula, where you've got these targets right in the middle of the play field, mm -hmm. right? It, it's... It is open, and I do like yeah. that. So yeah. yeah, not a lot of air balls or anything. I mean, we we, we got a couple going up on the ramp. When you do get an air ball, it is pretty crazy, but not like when we first had Ghostbusters. Uh, yeah. You know, we don't have balls. Breaking things. Yeah, we don't have balls hopping the lanes or going back into the shooter lane or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, the one that we did have tonight bounced up into the shooter lane and or up up, up into the up into the ramp. ramp. Yeah, yeah, and then came back down. I actually, when I was playing the other day, I happened to airball one in the left ramp and it went all the way around and came back down out the ramp which was oh. kind of weird but but other than that no everything's been working good and I've, I've been actually lucky this game i uh, was perfect right out of the box i don't think there was one switch that i had to adjust at all mm -hmm. uh you know there was something i had to tighten up today uh for the little posts that come up in the loop uh one of the little screws was loose on that i noticed uh, when i was doing an inspection on it today um, but beyond that i checked all the other mechs and stuff and everything's really tight and and there haven't been any switches that haven't been, you know, not registering or, or doing anything funny. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we kind of lucked out on this one, you know. Usually there's something out of a game that usually has to be adjusted. Uh, you know, after they've been shipped a few thousand kilometers. Uh, something's some, loose, something, yeah. Something's loose or something's gone wrong. So, uh, no, we were pretty happy with this one. You know, one of the other things that I want to point out as well, maybe to address kind of the, the, the lackluster of, of toys. Um, we, we've seen a lot, and one of the great things about this theme is that there are a lot of toys out there. Mm -hmm. um, the the uh, Micro Machines, the, uh, the Hasbro, or Hasbro? No, uh, micro, yeah, Micro Machines, Hot, uh, Hot Wheels, stuff, that's yeah. what I'm thinking of. And then the, the, the stuff that you might want to really look at is the, the X-Wing tabletop game. There's some models on that that are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, there's the Tantive IV model, there's all the little X-Wings and TIE Fighters. You could get a whole set of those and you could mount them in different places around here, and, and I think they would really hold mm -hmm. up. So, and, and, and something other, to look at. Yeah, and for other mods I've been thinking about, like, I mean, Stern hasn't revealed their topper yet for this game, uh, so who knows what that's going to be. Lightsaber. Like, yeah, like a lightsaber, or if it's going to be a Death Star that opens up, or flashes, I've, we have no idea. I don't think there have been any hints at anything like that. It'd be cool um, just to see, like, Luke you know, and Vader in like an attack pose with sabers mm -hmm. you know something like that and then the other thing we haven't seen are the inner art blades yeah um you know if if those blades are not you know amazing mirror blades I've been would thinking look of great doing like uh, some mirror blades in this thing i think yeah. they look pretty good so uh yeah i mean there's lots of i think there's lots of modding possibilities for this game i'm really interested to see with like what mesel mods or some of those companies are going to do with some of their custom built mm -hmm. like they do uh like CNC and like 3D printing and all that stuff, they've got a lot of different solutions and stuff they've come up with other games. 
uh, mods and stuff like that. So it'll be mm -hmm. cool to see what they, they, they figure out for this game. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this episode of the Canadian Arcade. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section at the bottom. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. So, want me to say today on the Canadian card? And then I'll pick our card. Card. Our card. Our card. <laughs> today on the Canadian arcade. I have a very bad feeling about this. I make another one. You want to do one? Alice, day? menstruating right now. Today on the Canadian arcade. You only have 75 more to go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Takes. Fuck you, Bill Murray. See, so these are those pinballs that Scott gave you?